Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing some more Pilot Bridge 2. Let's get started on Anchors Away. So we get regular roads, we get wood, and we get rope. That seems fairly straightforward. Uh, oof. Let's, uh, let's do us here and here. Actually, let's turn the grid on and make sure that we are on the spot. There we go. That should be a fairly even uh, distribution. And let's use our fancy handy dandy trace tool. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna let it bend a little bit. And we're not gonna bend up this time. We're gonna bend down a little bit. Hopefully that will work. We're gonna go ahead and fill you with road. And then we're going to truss you up. And because it is a curved surface. Uh, it's not going to play very well with the grid mode, so we're going to pull the grid mode off and make sure everybody is at its max. There we go. Max, 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 max. Yes, it does cost more to do this, but generally speaking, it is a little bit stronger. Okay, swing, swing, come back up. Oh, okay, that did not work. <laughs> Uh, maybe he went across just a little bit too fast. Uh, let's see, what can we do to improve? We can probably go out this way. And that's not going to work. Bring you up. We just have to be able to touch. And when we touch, we've got... Oh, come on. You can make it. Boom. Okay. Okay. Oh, you can go up a little bit. Okay, cool. Uh, that's probably going to have some swingage to it, so let's fix the swingage before it happens. And, yes, we're absolutely over budget. Of course we are. How else do we play this game? That's so much simpler. Okay. But, this would be why, because we need this bit. That should stop it from swinging too, too far. Yeah, that's perfect. No extra swingage, no breakage. Let's see if we can optimize this just a little bit. I think if we line you up, we really don't need you to be anything fancy. Same for over here. We can probably reduce. And just, since we've got some rigidity from pushing against the wall, we can probably bring these down just a bit. Oh, I guess maybe not quite so much. Oh, really? Come on. Okay. What about there? Okay, maybe uh, having everybody as high as you can go was that big of a difference. It really was. Okay. We may just leave it at that and come back later and challenge ourselves to see if we can get this under budget. So yeah, that's definitely the right answer to that. And it is under a lot of stress. What was our max stress? 93.6? Other than the budget, that was fine. Uh, ooh, fork in the road. What does this do? A2 needs to go top. A1 needs to go bottom. Let's see. I wonder which of these is heavier. But first, we're going to go to a straight shape. And we're going to... Oh, no, no, no. Connect that, please. There we go. We're going to fill you with... I wonder if... This jazz will. Nope, it won't. No, there's just, just no way for that to work. I, I cannot imagine. Okay, let's get you. And we're gonna go here. And we're gonna touch all three of these. Yes, that's expensive. That ought to hold that side of the road up fairly well. Uh, let's see. If we move you back, can we slap a spring in here? Okay, that looks pretty good. And we're going to make sure you are already a little bit 
stretched, so you're pulling in. That didn't quite get it there. Okay. You know, we never really build with springs all that much, do we? Maybe we should try a mostly spring bridge. Hmm. Interesting. That is an idea. Cool. We're going to bring each up to its absolute max. Going to make the bridge expensive, but it's also going to make it strong. Ish. Uh, let's see. Can we say... Etch? Do 10% stretched on each. And that should make it bow out just a touch. Try 20. So that took a little bit longer to fall, which is a thing. No, okay. We're definitely going to need some kind of uh, support structure on the bottom here. Let's do what we were talking about from the get-go and make sure that's as straight as can be. The top side is still doing pretty okay. It's the bottom side that's not great. Let's see. If they're stretched, they're pulling in. Oh, okay. We'll do 10% compressed in case I'm just, like, totally off base here. And the idea is to have some preload. Oh. That was, that was the right way to go with that. So if we do 20% compressed, what kind of strength do we get here? Could bow up a little bit. And I think, since we've got the right direction now, we don't need that. Nope, we did need that. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Out here. Boom. 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 And we're going to straighten that out a bit. And that still breaks in the middle. So we've gone too far on our compression. We're going to go back to 10%. We know for the most part... That works. So, yeah. Bell breaks in that same spot. And that is, in fact, reinforced road. So let's uh, spring it up over here. Let's uh, even that out to the middle. And we're going to say compressed. That was not enough compressed. Oh, compressed is the wrong way to go. And we'll do this one at 20%. So that's holding okay, but it's not rigid enough. So I'm pretty sure we can reach from here. Nope, we can't. Okay, how about now? Nope. Well, it changed the color. Okay. So this side is quite strong. Oh, Dune, Dune Buggy went under the water? It did not. It did. It stretched too much. Okay. Enough shenanigans. We're going to go back to our usual wood. Yes, I know wood is boring. It is. But it's strong. Which has got something to do... How fun this is. Really? And we got to bring you up and over, and then you up and over. After we get everybody connected up and nice and happy, we're going to make everybody go up to their max again. Yeah, that may just take two links. Okay, you're up. Yeah, I see, no problem. <laughs> okay, so here's an idea. Let's try one of these. And let's try one... Well, no, we gotta have two of those. 
Don't we? I think we do. Okay, we've got that. And will the buggy climb that? I think the buggy will climb that. I don't know. Let's take it easy on them. We know it's going to be a little bit rough. Okay. And you've got to be just shy. We're going to build up a little support structure. Get you on the ground, get you up and over, and then we're going to put spring here. And we're going to reinforce these joints. How does that do? Oh boy. That was a little too steep, I guess. You're still going to give us trouble? Yeah, you're still going to give us trouble. Well, I hate to replace this with a metal bit, but we're going to replace that with a metal bit. And since this car is so, <clears throat> so much slower... Oh, it doesn't have enough power. I was really hoping that it would have enough power to climb that hill. Okay, so... Let's see. Do we actually need that? I don't think we actually need that. And we're going to get rid of you, and we're going to get rid of you. We're going to replace both of those with some regular wood. And we're going to use our trace tool to go here. And we're going to fill you with regular road. We're still going to have to provide it some support. Is that enough? Please tell me that's enough. Oh, come on, you can do it. You can do it, little bud. Okay, that did not work. Let's bring these down a little bit. And maybe, like, a little bit the other way down. Okay. You still make it up, no problem. Hopefully this guy will make it up there, too. Come on, just a little bit more. Oh, not... Oh, come on. Okay. We might be able to bring up this road, and this road, and this road. We're going to bump up the speed so we're not waiting quite so long. Okay. So this spring needs to be pre-compressed. Nope, it needs to be pre-stretched. Okay, that is definitely too much power. Ha! Ha 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 ha! Oh, okay. So we're going to put you back at neutral. So the idea is that the second car is heavy enough to make it drop. I don't think that's happening. So we're going to get rid of both of those. We're going to have a over-the-top support structure. And then we're going to spring that up. Okay, that just barely made it. And that car is not heavy enough. Hmm. How about here? Can you still make it? You can't still make it. Okay. I think that's about where it was. That was not where that was. Let's do that. That made it all the way up, no problem. And this car is just... Mm, not enough. See, we are 1% over budget. Is it time to redo this from scratch? It may be time to redo this from scratch. Uh, let's do our trace tool. We're going from here to here. We're going to fill you with regular roads because regular roads are cheaper. Invalid build location. That's some nonsense right there because I just built there. Cool. Uh, so we've got that taken care of. Let's do these. And we're going to connect up to the middle. And I kind of wish we could reach... Oh, we can reach that. So that is a significant piece of our budget. Let's bring you almost all the way up. And we'll do the same over here. Almost all the way to the top. And we're going to use our handy dandy trace tool. 
And then just some regular old wood. We're gonna truss you up. I think truss is like French for triangle or something. I don't know. So we actually need to break these two off. And I wonder if if our other car can make that jump. <laughs> oh, if ever there were a time for the words fail successfully, now is it. Uh, let's try that again. We're going to replace you with a spring of thing. And you didn't make it up that time. You, let's do compressed, I think it was? No, it was stretched. Yos! We made it under budget with nothing breaking. Oh, that was such a good feeling to have. Uh, if anybody has any ideas on a better way to do this, uh, let me know. I have seen, like, oh, what is this? What? What kind of shenanigans is that? Oh, but it broke. Okay. That's interesting. We may have to try that at some point. Now is not that time, though. Uh, let's go back to the world's menu and take a look at what we have left ahead of us. Uh, we still got to fix anchors away because we're over budget, but nothing broke. Um, that's something I'm probably going to go back and do in my own time so that we can uh, continue on to the challenge area or wherever that is and uh, be looking forward to the air show and momentum next time. Maybe more. Depends on how quick we can get through there. Well, it looks like that's going to do it for us today, guys. I wanted to say thank you for hanging around this long. If you did and you haven't already hit subscribe, please do. Uh, just so you don't miss out on any of the other cool stuff coming on down the road. If you'd like to hang out with us, please hit us up on Discord. Link is in the About section on the channel, or you can go to discord.onesnot.com. And I will see you guys in the next one.